right. Welcome to my channel. This is meant to be both beautiful and informative. All right, so this is the Village Walking Trails map. Now what this doesn't show, we're right here, there's a path right here, okay? And that's what you see here. So you need to be told one thing, and that is when you get to the top of this, um, when this levels off and starts to go to the right and downward, right there, there's a dirt path to the left. You take that dirt path, and it's a straight shot up to uh, the duck pond, which is everyone's destination. So, uh, and that we're not going to go in that direction, but that this is one of the best, most simple hikes. This is the old village golf course. Walk this trail up to the duck pond. You can go a little higher in the, on the old golf course. And it is wonderful. And this is the most direct route. Most people don't take it. In my opinion, it's the best way. And look, there's stuff for your dog here too. Anyway, so that's the map. We are here. And instead of going up to the duck pond, which is where I recommend, we're gonna go down. We're gonna take a hike from the mountain to the ocean, okay? And at the end of this video, you'll be amazed at the beauty. Anyway, everything's beautiful, of course. There's somebody coming here to go running in the mountains. Great place for running. If you want to feed chickens or ducks, see the mongoose just go by there? I wonder if you can see that. There's mongoose up here. Of course, there's nothing dangerous. There are no snakes at all in the state of Hawaii or on this island. There's no lions, tigers, bears. Okay, so this is the uh, top of the hill in Kapalua, right? We're going to go walk down the roadway. This is the sign. Welcome to the Kapalua Walking Trails. Um, used to be the village golf course, okay? And that pretty much gives you the run. So, so obviously, you're permitted, okay? In case you're wondering. And uh, just a great... Place, and this is what it looks like anyway let's turn it around now straight ahead is Honolulu Bay one of the well it is the best place to surf in the entire world looks like it's got some big waves a lot of cars down there that might be a good place to make a video today Now you can just walk right along. There's a curb eventually. You can walk on that grass right there next to the road. I'm gonna take a little different route. Oh, some interesting things to show you. Pardon all the wind. All right, this is in the lychee family. I think it's a Longon or Langon, something like that. Big one. And oh my gosh, look. All these mango trees. A grove of conveniently short mangoes. I mean mango trees. And mangoes that you can walk up to and pick. Now, I'm not going to touch it. If you didn't know it, something some people learn the hard way and most people never learn same ingredient in uh, poison oak poison ivy sumac uh, is your uh, Russia oil and your Russia oil is in the veins of a mango tree 
if I pick this mango and the juices drip on my arm, I will feel terrible. I will get the worst rash ever. If you've never had poison oak, um, it is no fun. It's the kind of the kind of rash that you want to scratch until it. Well, I don't. I don't want to get into the ugly details, but it's ugly. You don't want it. So, mangoes are dangerous. Look at those big waves hitting Honolulu Bay. waves on a little bay okay this is a good parking lot this is the uh, golf academy but barely used and no one seems to mind if you just want to park here and go straight into the mountains it's a good spot wanted to show you those mountains are all accessible and great to hike that's where that's where we could have gone in that direction Right about here, right, you can begin to see a little of, it's hard to see, but right over there, that's the plantation uh, restaurant, or plantation house restaurant and plantation golf course. It's on the PGA Tour. That'll be in the first few days of January every year. old clubhouse of the old village golf course where we were just at. There's a restaurant here, Taverna. There's a gift shop for Kapalua. Driving range this is probably the world's greatest driving range. You get to hit on or off of real grass. You get this huge area of real grass to hit into with wind to deal with.
Oh, over there. Really nice bathrooms. Ice cold drinking water from a drinking fountain. Clean water coming right out of our mountains here. lady Aloha. now what I recommend okay no one's gonna recommend this to you smartest thing ever if you're a person wanting to impress a, a lady get a bag of flowers right pick flowers or rose petals uh, they're not that expensive to just buy like that right and then do a flower turn down yourself of course you can buy a woman a bouquet you can get her a lay and that's cool but man do a flower turn down, do hearts on the bed and put flowers around the room. It's the best advice you're ever gonna get. All right, this is the poor house. And another set of bathrooms right there. It's always good to know where the bathrooms are. This is Sansei's. All oh, a great sushi, award-winning sushi, half off. Uh, Thursday, Friday night after 10 o'clock. And it's karaoke night. Now this, my friends, is the a ABC store. Honolulu, Honolulu store was just the Honolulu store, ABC bottom. But they did retain their uh, beloved kitchen. It's a great place for a casual lunch right here. But uh, also gifts and all kinds of refreshments. A little shaded area to eat. A little Catholic church over there. Zipline company here. Everything over here to the right is the Ritz Carlton. Everything to the left is the Kapalua Bay course. We are headed to the ocean. You're not going to believe. You're not going to believe how beautiful where we're going is. It's going to knock your socks off. Oh, look at that. Cold and filtered drinking water there for the zip line. And the public. Now right here, it's just kind of fun. I love to know where the avocado trees are. And that's one giant avocado tree right there. And right behind it is a mango tree. All right, this is the grand entrance to the Ritz Carlton. ahead are two well one prominent island because it's right in our face here is a uh, Molokai here on the north side of the Lahaina side We're getting pretty close to the northern point of the island and uh, pretty much getting some exposure to open ocean elements So down here to the right is D.T. Fleming's Beach. It's a great public beach, the furthest northern beach. I would really recommend for a tourist. It's got bathrooms and a lifeguard. So, and a parking lot, right? Free parking, bathrooms, someone to save your life. 
great beach, but it is it does have elements. You know, you got to be careful at this beach. It's not one of the mild places to swim or surf, do do ocean sports. Over here to the left, if you go, you know, maybe a quarter mile to the left, uh, there's a public beach access parking lot for a special little, special little uh, beach that uh, you can only really, you'll only find it if you enter right over there. It's literally right there. Not sure, but I think that might be one that the surfers call shit falls. <laughs> but I could be wrong. <laughs> gotta put in that disclaimer. So beautiful. I got a question. Can you make tea out of all hibiscus? Or is there some specific kind you can only make it out of? Or can you make it from all hibiscus? I wonder about that because shoots could all be tea. It's a state flower. Funny thing about the state flower and orchids is they have no smell. Beautiful. No smell. Now these are uh, these pine trees. See these? These are cook palms. Some would call them from Captain Cook. They come from the island of Norfolk off of Australia. And they are called Norfolk Pines. Not Norfolk, Virginia. Norfolk, Australia. But I believe they may have come with Captain Cook. And so that is their legacy. Perhaps, if I'm correct on that. I don't see it anywhere, though. Try to keep my eyes peeled over here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so we're about to intersect. Not a lot of love there. It's always weird when you say hi to someone and they just keep a straight face. They don't even smile. They don't say aloha back. It's so weird. It's so weird. Why are people so afraid to say hello? I don't know. Lower Hanawapi Ilani Road. See that? Lower Hanawapi Ilani Road. And then up behind us, the highway. The upper Hanawapi Ilani Highway is the lower Hanawapi Ilani Road and the upper Hanawapi Ilani Highway. Here, let's do the circle. Let's go this way. Okay. So, see these people walking? That's the Ritz Carlton over here to the right. Okay. Got the Ritz Carlton. You got the Plantation Golf Course off in the distance. DT Fleming's Beach is down below us. This is a nice pathway straight to DT Fleming's Beach. And we will take a moment and look at the Kapalua Coastal Trail map. Because you could probably just study this and learn quite a bit from it. Uh, Alright. DT Fleming's Beach voted best beach in America 2006. Right, we are right here. We just came down this street from the mountain. We're gonna go out here to the um, Dragon's Teeth, Dragon's Tooth. Um, over here, the end of this trail, Kapalua Bay, Napili Bay, two of the best bays you could ever visit. Totally different than Fleming's. This 
says gnarly ocean energy. These are protected. See how they're protected and facing in a different direction. Totally different experience. All right. Um, there is free beach access parking right here. Free beach access parking. Um, and there are other places to park as well. But uh, up where the Honolulu Bay store was is a good area to generally park. A lot of different parking lots up there. It's all free parking, right? So let's go down to the Dragon's Tooth, the most beautiful place on earth, or one of them. This place is so beautiful. This is where you would or should want to propose marriage to somebody. This is the kind of place, right? So beautiful. This is an ancient burial site. Everything on the other side of this hedge is uh, is where they've discovered bones. So the Ritz-Carlton had to move its property back and wanted to build here, right? And it it uh, it got relocated back there, and that's why that hedge is there. And everything beyond it is a burial ground. You do not enter that. Let's see, Hunter. The house Hawaiian heritage is preserved on 13.6 acres surrounded by a Na'u Paka hedge. Here, Hawaiian remains dating between 850 AD and the early 1800s are interred and segments of Alaloa, an ancient stone paved trail, are preserved. Registered as a state historic place, this site is deeded to the state of Hawaii by Kapalua Land Company Limited and is reserved exclusively for Native Hawaiian ceremonial and religious practices. Public entry is prohibited. Please kokua. And that's in reference to the burial site. This trail is not prohibited. It is darn near one of the most interesting and totally cool places to visit. Careful of the roots right there, they'll trip you up. is alive. Some big swells coming in. This is great. It's going to make for some great images. Holy smokes. Look at this. We're going to get wet. Alright. Almost there.
pretty special day down here today, huh? Cool. With yeah. all these big waves crashing. Pretty special with these big waves crashing, huh? Yeah. Oh, awesome. <laughs> Look at this. All right. And see these rocks. And watch your step, folks, because this is not a you know, flat trail. Aloha. So those teeth down there are dragon's teeth. So, so they look. Hence the name, the dragon's tooth or dragon's teeth. That's what people generally refer to this area as. Bay again in the distance. Here we go. Now there's a couple swells behind that. So beautiful, so interesting. Grant 
finale of this experience. Of course, you can come here yourself when you visit. This is uh, one of the many things in life that are free. All the best things in life have nothing to do with money. You just gotta get off the couch, go for a walk. Look at this labyrinth. There are beaches and a great beach walk, right? We got DT Fleming's Beach, the Burger Hut restaurant, showers and bathrooms, and a lifeguard. Voted best beach in America 2006. We got the Plantation Golf Course. Big day at Honolulu Surf. Right Honolulu Bay, big day. Huge waves. There's like four waves. You can lose your life there. It's comparable to like triple diving. 